Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very exciting video. I have here a Fabrico Rook MK1 beta kit. This has been sent out to a couple people to verify and I'm super excited to get this kit and build a nice kind of Rook that's going to be in the background of all my videos. It's going to be my my permanent Rook, I guess. Um, the packaging on this is not final and like I say there's a this is a beta so there's going to be some very minor changes but mostly what you see here is what you're going to get. So let's open this up and see what we have inside. So Fabrico's included a lot of really cool stuff and a lot of things like very nice attention to detail. I'm very excited to, to check these out. Um, so so far what we have is our two linear bearings here for Z. They are the 45 millimeter longer ones, so much more stable, really nice to see. We have the wiring for our stepper motors. So that's really nice, everything included there for the steppers. We have four 200 millimeter linear rods. This is uh, part of the frame and also the Z for the Rook. We have our AC inlet. My beta kit does not include a power supply, so um, you will be getting a power supply with your actual production kit, just note that. So we have a nice AC inlet here. Fabrico does have their own parts to build a Rook as well, so you can choose to build a vanilla Rook like from printables. I'm gonna be doing a minor revision update for the Rook with just a few little things here and there, and I'm gonna be putting those on printables. Or of course, you can just go to the Fabrico GitHub and download their files when they're ready. I will put a link to their GitHub in the description below. So we have a genuine Big Tree Tech SKR Mini E3. This is spec for the Rook. Uh, these are one of my favorite boards. Um, Heatsink is already um, installed, very nice. I, I love these for small printer builds. So we have another box here. This has a whole bunch of goodies in it here. So we have the uh, two 4010 blower fans. These are Honey Badger branded. Really good high flow uh, 4010 fans. These are gonna be for our Rookery tool head. So I am building this uh, Rook with a Rookery. Gulsifer on the Discord did an incredible job on the tool head. It's a really awesome Bowden tool head for the Rook and it really fits the aesthetic of the Rook. So two 4010 fans, really lots of cooling there. We have a 3010 fan for cooling the hot end. This is a Honey Badger one, of course, really nice. We have our bed springs. So I am also gonna be doing a revision, well, maybe not a small revision, but I'm gonna be including the bed from the Rook 2020 on this because it uh, definitely has some fixes on it that will be better for the actual uh, Rook. And it allows you to use different size springs. Some of the issues are there, normally the springs I use are like five millimeters taller and sometimes they won't work. Sometimes these smaller springs won't work with the stock bed. So we're gonna do a revision to the bed to make sure that more spring sizes will fit essentially. We have three pulleys here for X, Y, and Z. 18 F695 bearings for the motion. So this kit actually comes with a BMG Sherpa Mini kit. So we are gonna be printing out a Sherpa Mini and we are gonna be putting it on the Rook in Bowden. So essentially Fabrico's version of the Rook has a Sherpa Mini for the actual extruder. The one on printables generally would use a BMG, like a BMG clone extruder like this, but I am gonna be revising the, I shouldn't say I'm revising, I'm gonna be adding a mount for a Sherpa Mini on the printables version of Rook as well. So you will be able to add the Sherpa Mini extruder to the back of your Rook frame if you want to do that. So if you buy a Fabrico kit, you can either use Fabrico's parts, of course, 
their frame has an integrated mount for this already. Or if you want to use the files on printables, you can actually just print out an adapter and attach it directly to the rear frame. And you'll see that I'm of course going to do a live stream building the Rook. We'll go through everything, explain all the stuff, and hopefully it'll be a great guide for anyone new coming to build a Rook. So our Sherpa Mini Kit. We have a really nice hefty bag of screws. So this is all the hardware for the Rook. It includes these really nice precision shims for the idlers. We have all of the heat cert inserts that we need. Looks to be really excellent hardware. Very nice bag of hardware there. And then we of course have um, Genuine Gates belt. So GT2 six millimeter wide belt for the Rook as well. Something really cool with this kit. So the actual uh, motors, these are Honey Badger motors and they actually have my Rolloon 3D logo on them, which is really, really cool. Super excited to, uh, to like I say, build this and have this uh, machine on display in the background on my videos. So that's really, really awesome. So three uh, NEMA 17s for X, Y, and Z. We of course have our Honey Badger branded linear rails, very nice linear rails. I will be um, cleaning these with brake cleaner and pre-lubing these before we do the build video. So we have our three here, X, Y, linear rails. And then we have a box here of more goodies. So in this box here, we have the pancake stepper for the Sherpa Mini. So nice Rolohan 3D there, Honey Badger um, pancake stepper for the Sherpa Mini. Really, really cool. We have our rubber feet. Another really awesome add-on, and again, um, I, I still, it's a crazy how much value they put into this kit. Um, not only is it a really cool blacked out hot end with a Rook logo on here, but it is a CHC ceramic hot end on a Rook. For this price, I think that's pretty amazing. So this is really, really cool. I, I use these hot ends on most all of my printers. Um, I love ceramic hot ends, and this is a, a huge, huge um, value add to this kit. Really, really cool. This is our um, screw-in terminal for the thermistor on our bed. We'll talk about that in just a second here. And then we have our Z end stop here, so a pre-wired Z end stop. And then again, I don't know how Fabrico added this, but for this price, we have a really nice edge to edge heated V0 bed. So this is an actual LDO V0 bed with an edge to edge heater on it. It has a thermal fuse on here. This is an incredible piece to this kit. Um, there is no build surface, build surface included in the kit. You can add the Honey Badger um, PEI build service if you want for an extra $20. You can clamp a piece of glass onto this if you want, or you could just use painter's tape. Of course, you all know I'm gonna be using painter's tape on this, but just please note that when you order the Rook kit from Fabrico, it does not come with a build surface. Again, you can use whatever you like. They do have an add-on on the webpage to add the Honey Badger PEI sheet if you want to. Amazon does sell 120 by 120 pieces of glass you can put on here or you can just do uh, blue painter's tape like I'm going to do. But yeah, really, really awesome uh, heater and you can see here in the center we would screw in our thermistor terminal in there. Very, very cool. Again, I don't know how they added um, so much value like something like this with this kit at this price. So really, really cool. Um, so that kind of wraps up the 
unboxing of this kit. This is so exciting for me. I want to thank everyone. I want to thank Fabrico for you know, putting this kit together. I want to thank all of you for making the Rook so popular. Um, there's so much more Rook content coming. Like I say, I'm going to be doing a live stream build on this printer. I have some filament coming. I'm going to start printing out all my parts. I'm going to make a couple revisions for the printables uh, page so that everything is really nice and compatible. Of course, Fabrico does have their own Rook stuff, printed parts that will be on the Fabrico page once the kits are in production, full production. Also in the description below, check out Canrog's channel. He also has a Fabrico kit and he's going to be doing his own build. Um, I believe he's going to be using some Fabrico parts and some parts of his own and stuff like that. So that's going to be really cool to see. So thanks everyone for watching. Definitely stay tuned to the channel. There's going to be so much content on the Rook. We're going to do a live stream together building this, this kit. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks again, everyone.